The uh, WHO, that's the World Health Organization, receives vast amounts of money from the United States. And uh, we pay for a majority, the biggest portion of their money. And they uh, actually criticized and disagreed with my travel ban at the time I did it. And they were wrong. They've been wrong about a lot of things. And they had a lot of information early, and they didn't want to. They're very, they seem to be very China-centric. And uh, we have to look into that. So we're going to look into it. We pay for — we give a majority of the money that they get. And it's much more than the 58. 58 million dollars is a small portion of what they've gotten over the years. Sometimes they get much more than that. Sometimes it's for programs that they're doing, and and it's much bigger numbers. And if the programs are good, that's great, as far as we're concerned. But we want to look into it. World Health Organization, because they really are uh, — they called it wrong. They call it wrong. They really — they missed the call. They could have called it months earlier. They would have known. And uh, they should have known, and they probably did know. So we'll be looking into that very carefully. And we're going to put a hold on money spent to the WHO. We're going to put a very powerful hold on it, and we're going to see. It's a great thing if it works, but when they call every shot wrong, that's no good. So is the time to freeze funding to the WHO during a pandemic? No, maybe not. I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to do it, but we're going to look at it. You did say that. We give a tremendous — no, I didn't. I said we're going to look at it. We're going to investigate it. We're going to look at it. But we will look at ending funding. Yeah. To, because to, you know what? They called it wrong. And if you look back over the years even, they're very much uh, — everything seems to be very biased toward China. That's not right.